Hey guys, it's Zuko. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Zuko. I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle kind of videos. And if you like this video when you're done watching, be sure to subscribe. Today I'm doing another website versus reality. So in these videos, I've been trying different online stores and comparing the pictures they have on their website to the actual clothing items and really just testing out how close of a match the clothes are to the photos. I know firsthand how frustrating and deceiving it can be when you order something online and the clothing item doesn't match the picture. So hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not to order from some of these online stores. Today's website versus reality is gonna be on an online store called Dress V Shop. You guys, I got a clothing rack. Do you like it? I don't know if I love this like top thing and actually it's supposed to be like covered. Like there's a cloth covering for this, but I don't have it on right now, but this is our new addition. Before we get started, I'm gonna preface by saying that I don't know what I was thinking. Some of the choices that I made were very questionable, um, and yeah. Okay, I wanna start off with something good. So I'm gonna first try on this really cute two-piece set. This looks so cute. Um, when I saw it on the website, I was like, yes come here, get in the cart. It's in this really cool, like, I don't know what you call this fabric, but it's like the faux furry kind of fabric. It's very much giving fall winter vibes. So yeah, I'll be ready for the next season. And, and yeah, I'm gonna try this on and pull up the website photo now. Okay, this is the first item. This is called the furry short top high waist long skirt suit. This is a really cute two-piece set. It has a slit in the back. It's like a maxi skirt kind of vibe. Okay, now let's investigate. So just off of the first look, I can tell that the colors aren't exactly the same. On the website, it looks more like a gray taupe kind of color, but in person, the color's more of like a warm cream which I'm not entirely mad at, but I do notice that difference. It also seems like this in person is a thicker fabric than it is in the photo. Another major difference that I found is in the skirt. This skirt here has a draw, a draw band, a drawstring, whereas in the photo, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but it doesn't look as pronounced as this one. This waistband is not there in the photo. And another, I'd say like really major difference with this is the straps. Okay, you guys, next was supposed to be the Camellia Retro Slim Sexy Long Cami Dress. I just broke the strap while trying to put this on right now. I was basically trying to like loop them through here and then crisscross them like they are in the picture, but um, that didn't work out too well for me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and pretend like that didn't happen and still do a review of this one. The pictures of this are really cute and the dress itself is actually really cute as well. I was a little nervous for these like flower details on the dress, but honestly, I like it more than I thought that I would on the hanger. The neckline and material and color are all a pretty good match to the photos. Okay, so on on some of the images, this stem detail looks like it's going more like straight down than curved to the side like it is in my version. And also I'd say the length with this one, maybe it's just because I'm tall, but the length on me is pretty short. I know you guys can't see my full body, but it's like mid shin. It's mid shin. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really sad about this dress. This would have been cute. I would have worn this. Maybe I can just sew this strap on or sew the original strap back on. But yeah, I'm sad that the, this one got broken because it was really cute. This reminds me of like something that the girl from Uptown Girls would wear. You know the movie Uptown Girls? She would totally wear this dress with her little pig. Okay, so this one I'd say is a pretty good match to the website. I really liked it and I'm sad that I broke it. So let's just move on to the next thing. Okay, let's start off with this top. This is the long sleeved t-shirt, solid color top, and I love it. I'm so obsessed. Look at this top. It's like so cute and simple and just a great 
basic. I love the super square neckline paired with the like button up decal. And I also really like the exposed stitching of it all. I think this is a super cute basic and I'm, I'm loving it. I love this top. The sleeves are a bit short for me. I am super tall and the ruffle detail I feel like makes it okay that it doesn't go all the way down. <laughs> Let's see the photos. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have the right amount of buttons. That's a good sign. Three seamed details along the center. Yes, yes, yes. Things are looking good. Yeah, I think this top is actually an exact match. Everything looks pretty exact to me. It's actually a ribbed fabric and it is just like that in the picture. So I'd say that this top is an exact match. The only thing that doesn't match is the sleeve length. But like I said, I have long arms. Everyone is different sizes and maybe the girls in these pictures have shorter arms so it fits differently so no points will be deducted for that you could wear this top i feel like with anything and it won't get old or boring it's like a nice twist on your classic black tee i love this top next let's talk about a pair of jeans that i got these are the micro flared slits high-waisted jeans trousers when i saw these on the website i fell in love they look so cute um it's giving cowgirl Ugh, i don't even know what but they were giving i was like you know what i'm gonna be outside of the box i'm gonna try these and yeah, jeans jeans are hard to buy jeans are hard to find i don't know what i thought was gonna happen but they're so high water on me like i need to show you like just stay there i'm gonna have to like go out of the room to show you the full length of these jeans but Okay, that was your close-up. I do really love the jeans. I'd say the color match is pretty exact and the little details are also in the right place and doing all the right things. These jeans are pretty stretchy, I'd say, so they fit the body really nicely and I do love that. The only thing is the length. Do you see where this slit hangs on me? <laughs> do you see it? And in the picture, they're like oversized baggy, not baggy, they're like oversized, whoa. They're like oversized and super long. So I was expecting a long pair, but these are capris at best, which sucks because I do really like the detail and I like the way they fit and I like them. And that's rare for me. Like for me to find a pair of jeans that I actually like and would wear is rare. I feel like you would never see me in an outfit like this, which kind of sucks because I think it's a cute outfit. It's like casual, cute but I don't know I'm just not that big of a jeans girl but when I do get jeans I like to experiment hence these crazy pair of jeans but it kind of backfired in this case I will say that it's a pretty good match to the photos the only real thing that I have to complain about is the length but you always are gonna run into that with jeans especially these kind of jeans because the website only offers a small medium or large what does that even mean what does that even mean for jeans a small medium and a large that's like insane i really love these i wish that they fit me and weren't high waters but um maybe i can make them work i don't know i don't know what do you guys think would you wear these jeans out let me give you another full body shot and you need to tell me if you would wear these yeah I don't know like i said i really like wish that these worked but i just don't know if i can do it with the length maybe i'll give these to like one of my short friends i'm sure they would love these or maybe one of you guys does anyone want these jeans if you're like five i'm five ten if you're five five these jeans would be perfect on you so all of my five five hotties come through tell me if you want these i'll send them to you before we get to the last dress that i'm very nervous about um i want to show you a little piece of jewelry that they sent me i didn't even order this i don't think but it came with my order and it's just a little floral necklace thing okay okay there we go it's in this really weird like plastic package i've never seen packaging like this before it's kind of crazy it's sweet that they sent me this i didn't even order it wow that's kind of nice it's very like sweet and dainty i really like this whoa i would even wear it with this shirt like i feel like this shirt 
would go well with a little necklace like this. That's super cute. Thank you, Dress We Shop. This is like a super nice touch. I love the asymmetrical details and I really just love it. This is super cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on and try on our last dress. Before we even get into this, let me explain. Okay, this was the main thing that I wanted to explain to everyone <laughs> before I started this. Um, basically, I was gonna get this dress in white. It was, it looks like this. Um, and I thought it would be like a cute baby doll kind of moment. But in reality, I'm scared. I'm scared. This, it looks very outside of my comfort zone, number one. Number two, this looks like the size of a shirt. Like, is it gonna cover anything? I don't know we'll find out. So yeah, I am very apprehensive for this dress. I just chose the pink and s hold on. I live near a hospital, so this is the ambiance that I get. Okay, I chose the pink instead of the white because I don't know, I didn't want to be basic. And I feel like if I got this in white, it, I would look like I had just escaped from an insane asylum. So I went with the pink instead, which I don't know if that was the right choice. I don't even know if this is gonna fit. Let's try it on and see if this was a huge mistake or somehow a good choice. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like a cupcake and that's, that's really not my vibe. As much as I am like, as much as I'm open to like the frilly, cute kind of outfits like this, I don't know if this exactly is giving what it needed to give. I do like the strap details. I feel like this is really in right now, but honestly, I just feel like this is too like, I don't know, maybe if I was like a teenager, I could get away with this. Um, But I don't love it, I don't love it. And I feel like this kind of like baby doll silhouette can be cute in some circumstances, but it really has to be done right for it to be okay. Let's compare it to the photos. So this is the floral ties around the fungus cami cake dress. Okay. <laughs> um, The pattern I'd say is pretty exact. The color looks like an exact match. The only thing that I noticed that doesn't look like the photo is the ribbon in the front. In the images, the ribbon looks like a silky material, whereas this is like a ribbed, they don't match. Oh, and on the strap, these straps look like they're almost like a pearl kind of detail, but the strap in person has these clear hearts in them that are not on this image. Yeah, I think those are the main two differences about this dress. It's not a huge leap away from the photo. I'd say it's still a pretty good match. I just don't know if this is my style, but um, I think that's okay. That's a part of finding like what you like is trying new things. I was definitely trying something new here and it didn't work out for me this time, but maybe it will next time, you know? All right, guys, that's all the items of clothing that I picked up from Dress V Shop. I do have a code, so if you're interested in anything and wanna check them out, be sure to check them out. I'll leave their link in my description. And if you want 10% off, you can use the code Zuko10 for 10% off. I hope you enjoyed coming along and kind of just playing dress up with me and putting these clothing items to the test. This set was definitely my favorite. I was honestly pleasantly surprised with Dress We Shop. Didn't have the highest expectations because when you're ordering from online shops like this, you definitely run the risk of getting some things that don't match the images, but I was pleasantly surprised. Ooh, also, if you have any stores that you want me to do a website versus reality on leave them in the comments um and i will do those thank you guys so much and i will see you next week with a new video bye